Tonight, we're going to take you on a magical mystery tour. Where are we? Here's some clues. It's got Britain's biggest clock. It's got the largest group of listed buildings in the whole country. And it's a city that knows how to party. Come on, where are we? You already know. Let's go bargain hunting. <laughs> <laughs> when you think Liverpool, you think only one thing, the Beatles. It all started here, one afternoon in 1962. Two years later, the Beatles are still playing down at the cavern. Only these days, it's the Mersey Beatles, and they're tonight's contestants. No, they can play fabulous, but can they play bargain hunt? Yeah. Okay, let's see how fab the four really are. Come on, boys. <laughs> let's meet the boys. They are four local Scouse boys. They've got the Beatles tribute band. I'm going to say to you, they are fantastic. First of all, we've got Dave and Jay, which is George and John. I want to know something about you. How many years have you lads known each other? All our lives. So, like the real Beatles, you've grown up together. How many years have you been playing together? Oh, four years. You've turned pro. You're really going places. <laughs> I mean, are you really happy about it? Yes. You've had a lot of success so far. Tell me about it, Jay. Who's John? Come on. Yeah, we started off playing in some uh, some guys' living room, but uh, quite recently we've just played in front of a home crowd of uh, ten thousand people. Matthew Street. Matthew Street Festival. Day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they love you? Yeah, absolutely loved it. Home crowd, one 0 victory. That's what we want to hear. Fantastic. Over on this side, we've got Steve and Brian, which is Paul and Ringo. Now, Steve, when did the Beatles first come to your notice? How old were you? I was about eight years old. What's so magical about the Beatles? It's the mix of energy, melody, the whole package. Need I ask who your favourite is? Well, Paul, of course. Sir Paul McCartney, Macca, good on you. Now, I'm going to ask you a question a lot of people ask me. Is that your real hair there? Well, <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I better get a bit warm under there when you're dropping oh, this thing. Yeah. OK, let's give you the dosh, lads. £500 to each team. Now, never mind, can you buy me love? What I want to know is, can you buy me any bargains? Yeah, 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 yeah! Ooh. I need somebody help, not just anybody help. help. These are the rules of the game. Our teams have 500 pounds and one hour to hit the town and find some bargains. We sell them at an auction in a few weeks' time, and if they make a profit, they get to keep it. There's a great competition coming up. Get your pens and paper out. Got a good reason for taking the easy way out. To help the teams, we have our usual suspects. David Barbie will be working eight days a week for the Reds. Hey, and twisting and shouting me. for the blue team. Come on, Barbie! We have Philip Serrell. While I look around town, the teams will scour Merseyside's antique shops. What are you playing with those? I'm sure the Beatles never played those, you know. <laughs> Do you like that? I mean, the face is all there, doesn't it? <laughs> Why do you like that? It doesn't grab me straight away. I think that's a cool thing. It's a, it's sort of come out of a chemist shop, probably about 1920s, and it's either sort of sat on a sat on a drawer front, or perhaps been at the back behind the counter. But these things were they they're, they're really collectible. 
How well, much is it? Well, that's the best part about it. It's thirty pounds. I've had a word with the dealer. He says we can have it for fifteen pounds, which, in my view, you know, to use a well-known expression here, it's as cheap as chips. That's and will it make a profit at fifteen? Pounds? Yeah, of course it will. I think it'll make between thirty and fifty pounds in auction. This. Right. Yeah. And the best part about it is, look, it's throat lozenges, and it says here, for loss of voice, it'll help you with your singing. Oh, and it's good for your glands, too. Yeah. <laughs> is that good? That's a good thing. <laughs> on that, on that note, it's a done deal. Come on. Right. Cool. Penny Lane, there is a barber showing photographs Of every head he's had the pleasure to know And all the people that come and go Stop and say hello In 1967, the Beatles immortalised this area when they wrote about this street. Now, Beatlemania fans from all over the world descend on this area and they nick up to four of these signs per week. That totals nearly 200 signs per year. Because of the problems that the council has had, they've decided to paint it on the wall. In tonight's competition, we have a real steal of a prize for you. You can win this wonderful pair of apple and pears by John Ditchfield. And you can win them by telling me which single piece out of all the contestants' items will make the biggest profit, if any, and which will make the biggest loss. The information on how to enter is coming up now. Call us on 09011. Double one zero eight hundred, or log on to our website. Penny Lane, this is my ears. Okay. okay, take a look at it. What do you think? I told this, Dave, because it's rare and it, it jumped off the shelf. And I cannot believe that anybody's bought it because of <laughs> the colour, and not because of its aesthetic value. What do you think? Red. Well, I wouldn't buy it specifically for its redness. Exactly. Can I have that? Sure. I'm going to turn it upside down. The mark on the bottom is for Minton's Limited. Now, that mark is early 20th century. There was a group of artists in Vienna. They called themselves the Secessionists. Secessionists. The Vienna Secessionists. Secessionists. I've already shouted a shower, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, David. It won't happen again, is the, the, this is quite an important design. Very attractive piece. There would have been a pair of these standing on the mantelpiece or maybe in a cabinet. Mm. Is it worth anything without the, with the other one, though? No, no I don't think it really matters. People piece. would buy this on its own for its design. Mm. Now, price? 145. Ooh! <laughs> a bit steep. It's not steep for a retail outlet, with all due respects. Mm. It's what you expect to pay. We can David, bargain. you'll have to bargain with the dealer. Well, hopefully he's a Liverpool fan. Do your best, lads. OK, you off, you, off you go. One Liverpool fan to another. <laughs> now, this is the Pierhead, which is the cornerstone of Liverpool. And these three amazing buildings behind me show you the sheer importance and wealth of this city as a seaport to the British Empire. Now, the main structure over there is the liver building. Atop, there are the famous liver birds. They say the female is looking out to sea, waiting for sailors to come home. And the male is looking to the city, <laughs> waiting for the pubs to open. Brian, how much money have we got left? 485. 485? I'll tell you what, we're a bit flushed, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> Who else likes this? Hey, I don't like that. Well, I quite like that. Why do you like it? I like the copper. I, I like the initials across. What, this HFC here? Yeah. What's that stand for? Heverton Football Club. Heverton? Oh. <laughs> no, I'm a cop ice. No, no. It's not bad. Like, my mum used to have something similar. Yeah? Like, on, by the fireplace. Well, Quite nice. it, I tell you what, copper and brass over the last few years, it, it's gone off a little bit, you know, but this is arts and crafts, so about 1890, 1900, and that's typified by this sort of beaten effect back here, and we've got these sort of almost like heraldic dragons. Right. So how much? It's £40. Do you that's dear or cheap? That's nice price for me. I think that's going to make between 40 and 60 pounds at the sale. So how much money have we got left now? 445. <laughs> 445 pounds. <laughs> we'll go with that, I mean, yeah. All we want is you get through the phone book before the auction and find as many people as you can with the initials HFC and make sure they're there. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I feel very privileged today to be handling something so personal for my all-time hero, 
the late, great John Lennon. He purchased these in the late 60s. They're 14 karat gold frames, and they probably cost a nice few quid in their day. Now, they are the most expensive spectacles in the world. They're insured for a whopping one million pounds. These dogs are great to Staffordshire. Yes. Yeah, what do you think? I think they're good. Do you like them? Not bad. That's something you'd see in your grannies. Exactly. But your grandmother would have inherited those from her grandmother. Yeah. Because they date from about 1850, 1860, as they've said on the label. These are called hearth dogs, made in Staffordshire, and they will be plonked on the mantelpiece, either side of one of those overmantel mirrors. When I look at these, they're not the conventional hearth dogs because the hearth dogs will be rounded at the back. These have these tail projections. They're very plain, very simple, but there's a pair and they're perfect condition. Yeah. Look, the price is 185. That is too much. It's steep, too yeah. much. You've got to negotiate. They're really good quality and they're, 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 they're real Bobby Dazzles and I mean, the yeah, Staffordshire dogs, they're, yeah. Yeah, they're like a Victorian, so. What, 125, how does that sound? That... Yeah, go on. Yeah, yeah, okay. 125, yeah. Life goes on day after day. I'm on probably the most famous ferry in the world. So ferry, cross the Mersey, cos this land's the place I love. And that is, and of course, I'm all down ferry. to Jerry Martin. I like it, I like it. How do you do what you do to it? <laughs> <laughs> nice one, David. How nice one. Lovely to meet nice you, Nice to Jerry. see you as well. Nice to see you. You look fantastic. Feeling good. I want to ask you this. What was it like being a rock star in the 60s here in Liverpool? The 60s were a great period in Liverpool. Everything was starting to take off. Even our football team were doing well. And there was the Beatles, ourselves, the Searchers, Silla, God bless her. And every night in Liverpool in those days was a party night. Now, there's one song that we always associate with you and the great Liverpool football club <laughs> that you're a mega fan of. You'll Never Walk Alone became a great song for football and other sports as well, and it's brilliant. And the nice thing about it, at Anfield, when they sing it, I'm standing there, I still get goosebumps, and it's great. I mean, what does that feel like, stood there with the whole stadium singing that song? It feels absolutely brilliant. In fact, do you want to come and see it? Come on, come mate, on. off to Arnfield. Walk on, walk on, with hope. What do you think of this, David? There's Art Deco, mm. Wash your bars. It's very eye catching, yeah. I think they. You're reading the label. No, 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 no. <laughs> I think this is very nice. I like this. It doesn't appear to be a lid. I don't think there would have been a lid. You've got this gilt decoration all the way around. Now, if you're going to have a lid on the top, it would grind away that gilt decoration. Mm. Now, it's Wilton Ware, and the company that produced Wilton Ware uh, was Harley Jones. They produced this wonderful lustre ware. Mm, it is wonderful, isn't it? Yeah. And this is a landscape, OK? Yeah. And it's in the Chinese style, so we mm. call it a chinoiserie. Chinoiserie. Chinoiserie style. <laughs> it's got a tint to it, like a purpley. To look at it, it's blue, and then in some, some it's when you get the light, yeah, 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 that's it, the it reflects like effect. a rainbow. Yeah. 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 Very fashionable in the 20s. Very fashionable. I think we could do quite well on this. Right, there's just one thing wrong. The lid. There's no lid. Forget <laughs> the lid. There's no <laughs> lid. It's the price. How much is he asking? It's £125, which I think is a little bit steep. I really like it. OK. Yeah. Well, you complete the transaction. Be it on your head. Okay. This is Paul and George's original school. With the generosity of many benefactors, including Sir Paul McCartney, it's been transformed into the Liverpool Institute for Performing Arts. <laughs> They promised to teach me a thing or two, but things have moved on since I was at school. And 
little brush down. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Fingertips touching, so David knows we're there. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe this is what they mean by an uplifting experience. I can enjoy this eight days a week. <laughs> Sometimes it's possible to get carried away in this job. Fame. I want to live forever. Yes, thank you. Four hundred and forty-five quid left, and about three minutes to buy something, yeah. and we're in trouble. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. How about this? It's going really cheap. It needs to be cheap, dear me. Yeah. Let's have a look at it. Well, it's it's made out, I think, spelter, which is an alloy of uh, zinc and tin. It's trying to be bronze, really. It's been painted. It's signed here, Lacazne. I guess that it's probably nineteen thirties, but this base, it's certainly later. How much is it? Two hundred and twenty-five pounds. That could be a real albatross around our next. Shall we take a gamble on it? Just for the fun? Well, we've now got, what, about 30 seconds left. So, <laughs> we can ask so we've got to speculate to accumulate. Right. And that is a speculation. Hey, Jude, make this is the world-famous Albert Dock. This was the very first wet dock to be created. What's amazing is that during its heyday, 40% of the world's commercial shipping was unloaded here. Time's up for our competition. What do you think, bargain hunters? Are they going to swim or are they going to sink? <laughs> we'll see. Na, 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 na. Here's a reminder of what they bought. Number one is a Wilton vase. Number two is a pair of Staffordshire dogs. Number three is a se 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 secessionist ceramic. And the blue team's bought number four, a 1920s chemist sign. Number five, the Arts and Crafts copper and wood plaque. And number six, the Spelter Seagull. Log on to the website or call us on 09011-110-800 to win today's prize. <laughs> today's auction is at Marshall's Sale Room in Nutsford, Cheshire. We're out! It's been a hard Come on, man! The auction's about to begin. The young pinstripe gentleman next to me is, of course, Adam Partridge. He's one of our regular experts. By the way, before we start, let me just say this. Both contestants and experts will be earwigging and listening to what we're saying about them. Does that intimidate you? Not one tiny little bit. No, I'm looking forward to it. Bring it on. Bring it on? <laughs> That's what we say. Let's bring it on. So, first up is the red team. The first item, Art Deco, a Wilton wear, uh, Lust of ours cost £70. I'm going to say nothing wrong with that. It's average quality. What do you think about it? I think it? it's probably a little bit too expensive. I think we put 50 to 70 as the estimate. Right. Uh, around that area. I think it should get close. Yeah. David's usually right, though, so if it does lose money, I'm sure it'll be the contestant's choice. <laughs> <laughs> he knows his porcelain, this man does, you know. Are you in for a win or a loss? I'd say a small loss. OK, we're both in for a loss and we'll take the consequences. <laughs> Next up, a pair of Staffordshire dogs. They're a nice matched pair. They're Victorian ones. There's a lot of fakey ones. These have got the weight. The crackler looks right. The paintwork looks interesting. I would have said ten years ago, five years ago, these would have flown through the sale room and made a profit because they cost £125. It's a different story today. I think these are a little bit out of fashion, and I'm going to say they're perhaps close to £100 and a small loss on those. What do you think? I don't like them at all. 
What do you mean you don't like them? Well, they're just not me. I prefer this Art Nouveau arts and crafts period rather than Staffordshire Spaniels. Well, tell David Barbie why you don't like them. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're more your generation, mate. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Are you in for a loss? I am. Me too. I'm afraid so. Oh, I think they're very good. Yeah, I've got several pairs what he's at home. About. Next item, we have to say we like it. David Barbie has a feel of this type of porcelain. Mm. Secession is there. It's Minton, great factory, early 20th century. It looks good. It's got quality. It's got design. A hundred quid, Dave. It's its money. Yeah. It's Tell the me. top end of the estimate. It's isn't the it? top end. Uh, it's a lovely little vase. I think it's a fair retail price for it. I'm sure they they sell for more. Uh, in auction, I think it's probably 70, 80 pounds. Are you in for a win or a loss? I'm in for a small loss. I'm also in for a small loss. Now, the next team is the blue team. Now, let's see what the team and Philip bought. The chemist sign, I'm going to say I really like that. It's off the wall. It's quirky. I think it's interesting. It's different. And at 15 quid, I've got to say it, it's as cheap as chips. What do you think about that? I think it's for nothing as well. I think it's a lovely little thing. We put estimate 20 to 30 pounds, and it should easily do that. And I'd be ashamed if it lost money. And it is a Cyril lot, isn't it? Oh, definitely. It's a Cyril special. A you can tell special. what he buys, can't you? <laughs> <laughs> OK. His next choice, and the team as well, of course, Arts and Craft Copper and Wood Plaque. I rather like that. 40 quid, quirky lot, different. I'm going to say a small profit. What are you going to say? Well, we put 30 to 50 pounds on this one. I like arts and crafts. It's a nice looking thing. Lots of people around here do, and there's arts and crafts houses mm. in the area. Mm. So let's hope it can make a small profit. I okay. wouldn't think it should lose too much anyway. All right. So we're in for the two wins there. What we've got here is the 30 Spelter Siegel. It was gilded at one time. It is signed. I don't know the artist. There is a slate base to it. 150 quid was paid for this. I'm going to say it's Siegel. Is going down, mate. How can they say that? <laughs> what do you got to say? Yeah, I agree totally. I mean, it's certainly a big lump, like the expert that advised on just, it. Just hang on a second. <laughs> Philip, I've got nothing to do with that comment. Will you carry on, please? <laughs> um, but it's slightly more decorative than Philip, of course. <laughs> I think it's going to lose money, though, I'm afraid. It's, it's certainly decorative, but it's not worth 150 quid, is it? OK, make your mind up, bargain hunters. You've seen all the lots now. Which are the winners? Which are the losers? I know what my thoughts are, <coughs> and I don't think you'll go far wrong. <laughs> it's the moment of truth. The goods are going under the hammer, and the Reds are in the hot seat. Now, you can tell the truth, lads. Are you confident? Yeah. Yeah, we are. Of course we are. Good day? Yeah. David showed you the ropes, did he? He's an old pro. He knows oh. what he's talking about. <laughs> he's an old pro, all right. We know about that. Just... 101's the Harley Jones Wilton Wear Luster Vase. Here it is at the front. Lovely little thing. I've got £32 left with me. At 32. <laughs> five now at £32. 32. Pounds. Where's the five? 35. 38. 40. 42. 45. 45. 48. 50. 55. One more. 50 in the doorway. Five Come somewhere on. at 50 pounds in the doorway. 52 if it helps, at 50 pounds. Two if it helps, sir, at 52. 55. 58. 55. Still in the doorway, at 55. We're going to sell it now. You're all done at 55 pounds. OK. Not a bad start. 55, a little bit expensive, as suspected. 15 pounds down, going in with a pair of dogs. What do you think, bargain hunters? Are they too dear? We'll see. Nice pair of 19th century Staffordshire Spaniels, £100 a starving. Surely, £100. 80 then. Looking for 80, 80 in the room. Pounds. 50 to start then, They're surely. A bit out of favour at the moment. What about £50 of Staffordshire dogs? Can I put my hand up? You okay. can't, David. <laughs> they are Do not spend. cheat, David. At fifty pounds, take a five now. At fifty pound bid, fifty-five. They're well 60. worth that. They're worth more than 65. that. Sixty-five, seventy. Sixty-five only bid. Seventy anywhere. At sixty, seventy. Seventy-five. Seventy. The ladies bid here. At seventy. At seventy pounds. Is there any more? Can't at seventy. This. All can't done there. This. For the last time, at seventy pounds. Fair warning at seven. <laughs> <laughs> 70 pounds. Oh, that is minus 55 so pounds. Good. They're oh, not that God. hot at the moment. 55, 60, 70 pounds down, and they're going in with a small mint and vase. Super little thing, mint and vase. How about 100 pounds to start me? 100 pounds. 50 and bid at 50 pounds. Five now at 50. Where's five? With five, sixty, five, seventy-five, um. seventy pound my bid. Five anywhere at seventy-five in the room. At seventy-five, is there eighty now? At seventy-five pound, eighty somewhere. At seventy-five in the room. 
at 75. Are you all done at 75? 80, 85, 90, 85 pounds in the cap now at 85, selling at 85 pounds for the last time at 85. Minus 15. Oh, Chalk that together, and I make that a minus 85. Did they do any good? Well, they tried oh. hard. Come on, boys. The other team lost 85 quid. Can these boys pick them to the post? I have a feeling they can do it, but there's that seagull. OK, <laughs> first lot coming up, the chemist's side. You fancy that? You're a good judge. 20 pounds to start. 15, then. Surely bid me 15 pounds for that. It's well worth that. 10, thank you. 12, sir. 12 is bid. 14 now. Come on, it's worth more than that. 14, six, 16 here. 18, 20, profit. 22, 24, 22 pounds. Who's going on now? At 22. Is there any more now? At 22 pounds. Selling front row here at 22 pounds then. Yes, that's what we want to hear. 22 pounds. That is plus seven. I think it was worth more than that. Going in with the arts and crafts piece. Let's see how it does. 40 pounds. 30 then. 20 and a half at 20 pounds. Two in now at 20. at 20 pounds at 22, 25, 28, 28, 30, Creeping. 32. 30 pound bid. Two anywhere now worth at a bit 30. More. It's worth at more. 30 pounds. Any further? At 30 pounds. For the last time at 30, you all done at 30 pounds then. It's cheap. 30 pounds, a loss of 10. They were seven up there, now three down. <laughs> and they're going in with a the seagull. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Can you hold it up? It is a big lump, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> couple of hundred, is it? Hundred pounds, then, for the seagull. Are they going to go for it? Fifty bid at fifty pounds. Five now. It's worth more than that, surely. Fifty pounds only bid at fifty-five. Sixty. Sixty-five. No? Sixty pounds. Short and sweet. At sixty pounds. Five anywhere. Are you all sure? Where would he find another? It's cheap. At sixty pounds. The seagull pounds. go cheap. Where do you want to find another? <laughs> all done. At sixty pounds. 60 pounds, I make that a loss of 90. And if you add on the three pounds, I make that a loss of 93 pounds. Right, you two. And, Cyril, I want to have a word with you about seagulls. Come with me. The 1920s sign made this week's only profit. And the spell to seagull, cool. That was a real turkey. It's been a hard day's night here in Nutsford, but the results are in. Over on this side, Stephen and Brian, a loss of £93. Ooh! And over this side, we've got Jay and David with a loss of £85. That makes them today's winners. But what have you got to say about it, boys? I don't care too much for money. Money can't buy me love. See you next time. Bye for now. Ooh! Close your eyes and I'll kiss you tomorrow, I'll miss you.